Zamfara election. Impeach Deputy Governor to finally fight back as PDP releases new statement. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. In a motor fight back, Mahid Ali Gusau, the former Deputy Governor of Zamfara State, has picked up the expression of interest and nomination firms to run for Governor of Zamfara State in 2023 on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. The impeached Deputy Governor of Zamfara State, Gusau, has shown interest in the next gubernatorial race and will contest or be contesting against his former boss, Governor Matawale, who will be running for a second term. It should be recalled that a former Deputy Governor and his boss, Matawale, were both elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party. However, the Governor defected to the ruling or progressive party, APC, while Ali Gusau refused to defect with him. The refusal of Aliyu to join the governor on the platform of the APC led to strain in their relationship. While making the announcement of the Gosau entry into the race, the People's Democratic Party PDP wrote that Deputy Governor of Zamfara State, Aliyu Mohammed Gosau, has obtained his expression of interest in nomination firms to contest the gubernatorial election in Zamfara State in 2023. Meanwhile, Matawali will be seeking for second term under the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC. Let us know your course. Now wow. Now wow. Hey, now wow. But wait to I'm asking myself. You became a governor on that PDP platform. Waiting Porsche. Kilole Kiri, what is chasing you? Ha. Ha. Anyway, some people, they kind of see it as being proactive, but sincerely, I don't think they calculated their move. But Zamfara people will show us who exactly is deserving of their votes this time around. Okay. Um, Zamfara, the governor defected to APC. There's no court case to challenge him. Exactly what I wanted to ask. Maybe the PDP is actually planning that too. They're trying to take it one time at a time. Of course. Of course, yes. Okay, they did, but the high state court, but the high court in the state quashed it. Oh, okay. And you think they'll vacate the seat for PDP just like that? You're dreaming. Well, let me let me say this. There's nothing like they're vacating their seats. Look, whatever PDP is doing, eh? Logically, it is right. I don't care about what anyone has to say. Logically, it is right. Enough of this going from one place to another. I see if you don't have an agenda. I see if you're, it is just, you doing that, it is showing the electorate that you are just um, doing this for your own pocket. Yes, your own pocket alone. You're not coming out to serve them. You're not coming out to do what they would want you to do. Especially, you're not even coming out to perform your functions as a governor. You're just interested in what you're going to get at the end of the day. The former deputy governor Zanfran is now constitutional barred from contesting any election again in Nigeria after his indictment and impeachment. That is the law. Are you serious? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He did not do anything wrong. He just reflect, refused to defect with his um, with his uh, well, I say principal, and I don't see why this should be a problem. He would probably become the governor even before the election or if PDP takes Matawale to court over his unlawful defection. Okay. Waste of time and resources. Let the former deputy proceed to court to request that those who defected to APC after being elected under PDP be disqualified while he should be declared governor. No need to contest any election in view of the latest judgment in court in respect of Governor Umahi. Please do not waste your fund. Abiyo, well, we are going to watch and see how this plays out, whether he's going to pick the nomination forms or he's going to be, you know, taking his time and see if um, members of the PDP will do that. Okay? You get home, go and start preparing for your turn or you are young and energetic. Instead of going to a court and fighting a case, you cannot win. Young man, take my advice. Your father is well known. Are you serious? <laughs> do you expect him to sit back and not fight back? I don't know. I don't know whether they expect him because he's young. You see, eh, when you go into politics as a youth, this is how you're going to be kicked around. And this is why it is seeming like some of our youths are not coming out, especially those ones that at the end of the day, they worked really hard for their money. 
Mo, it's not really to blow as in 40 million naira for presidential form. I don't even know which one is for governorship form. Very expensive. And you expect these people when they come into power to do what the people want. I, th I think those things are supposed to be free. As in you want it, you get it. Oh, sincerely, I crave for a Nigeria where those things will be free, where people can contest and they are going to be voted in based on their competency and their, um, and how well they are and their merit. Yes. Zamfara politics is not the way you think. The impeached deputy governor is going nowhere. If you remember, Zamfara State is for APC before the drama court, which gave PDP a chance to govern. That is why the governor crossed to APC. He knew he could not make it the second term if he remained in the PDP. Hmm. Let said be say Street. Let be say Jamatano Street. He was not credible enough. That is why he lost the election. If PDP presents a credible candidate, they would take over Zamfara. Unfortunately, Political parties are not interested in presenting a credible candidate. They are interested in presenting a popular candidate. Ali is the next governor of Zambra State. He is a man of integrity. God helping him, he does not pretend. Must adapt to be in the same party with you, the governor. I don't know, but there is this thing going on that people... That people are actually going from one place to the other. People are actually going from one place to the other, defecting, and I don't know what is chasing them. Well, there's this actually one that happened, I think it was just before the. Was it the deputy? I don't know. There's a particular deputy governor in the southeast. I think it is the deputy governor of Anambra State. I think so. I think it affected to the APC and. Uh, I think he's the deputy. Yes, he's the deputy governor. He defected to the APC alone, and he even took some members of, I think, some of his aides with him, and they have an issue. Well, at the end of the day, he said it's even better because he was close to his tenure, and he defected. And before this, everything will occur. His tenure has been, has been rounded up. Okay. I support this young man as governor. The time of ancestors' willingness has gone. <laughs> Okay, an MP deputy governor cannot contest again unless there is a court waiver. Are you serious? Is that why they impeached him? Now, wow, he's a good politician. God will bless him and he will become the governor soon. This is exactly, I keep saying, this is exactly why the youths are saying, coming into politics, men, ha, they will frustrate you. You have to be ready. And this is why we need to kick out God for that reason, because... If somebody is going to be voted in based on his merit, what he has been able to achieve in his previous um, post, I don't see him con him winning the election being a problem. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for attending to listen. Until I come, you can come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.